Do you know our local library won't let you take books on suicide out of the building? They say it's risky because you might not take them back. <laughs> Next up we've got this cracking Triumph Bonneville, stock number 56776. Now this two-tone silver and green steed is indeed an official UK bike. It was first registered on the 28th of February 2001, thus making it X registration. Now it's only had two former keepers, so three owners in all, and they've all obviously loved this bike. It's in lovely, lovely clean condition. We've got the V5 registration document, we've got the owner's manual, we've got the spare keys and the spare key fob for the Triumph Alarm immobiliser system that's fitted. We've got the current MOT certificate, that expires on the 25th of March 2010, and the bike is taxed up until the end of September 2009. Now, I haven't got any dealer service history for this bike, but the previous keepers have been detailing um, the home servicing that they've been doing, so we know when it's had oil changes, air filters, chain and sprockets, so on and so on. Um, that history goes up to 24,000 miles, and the Speedo is currently showing a total of 25,749 miles. So, let's have a look around this cracking bike. Well, there's the Triumph logo on the side of the tank it's got the knee pads as well again a touch of uh, a touch of history there like the old bonnies in me dad's day we can see there the spoke wheels Di disc brakes there's the engine big twin simple air oil cooled engine oldie worldy fashion styly chrome exhausts it's got the carrier rack there it's quite a useful item Old coil shocks, twin shocks on the back. Again, everything pointing, everything leading towards a real retro style machine. With proper roots and proper history. Made in England. Come on, let's be patriotic. Get this bike bought. Let's have a listen at that engine first, though, eh? <laughs> There we have it folks, 790cc parallel twin cylinder, double overhead cam, air oil cooled, five speed gearbox chain driven throbber, producing a really pleasing 62 bhp at a steady 7400 rpm and it's also producing a very rewarding 62 newton meters of torque at only 3500 rpm. Now I've said before, you can't beat the feel and character that a big capacity twin cylinder engine delivers. It's fantastic! It's as sweet as a nut, that one. Righto, well I'd better see if Delia has got time to clean this bike now. She loves her work, does young Miss Kay. Although she prefers to be called D. <laughs> That's DK.